What do you mean? Is it is extend extendable? Oh yeah. Extendable pole. <laughs> <laughs> Just let a noise, Joe. Don't be like that. You're an adult. <laughs>
Well, Joe's all finished welding and grinding now. I did a little bit of grinding, but he did all the welding. It's not looking too bad in there. It's a bit dark, but uh, sure you guys see what you need to see down there. It's a bit hard to weld in the boot of this thing, but it is what it is. So uh, that's all done now. Now we've got to work on the next part. Probably gonna run some tubes off uh, where the subframe meets and uh, add a bit more strength in that way. Not 100% sure which way we're gonna go, but we need to cover this in first so that there's not like a giant hole in, uh, in there. So I'm gonna cover that off first and then we'll work on uh, continuing to strengthen it. Got the cover panel in. Now Joe just needs to weld it in. Gonna use the TIG for this one, aren't we? Having fun with Jungle Jam? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I should, have, I should have planned for this. What? I'm left handed and now I've gone and made the part where I'm going to be resting my hand really hot. Well, Joe's pretty busy in the back of the car there. I can't really help him since it's such a tight space. So I uh, thought I'd go on with something a bit different. I got me uh, spot weld drill bit here. Gonna go into the engine bay and basically remove all the bracketry that we don't really need. Give ourselves a bit more room when we're working on the old LS. sentence out out <laughs> so the guys had a bit of success out the back here they've got that cover plate all welded in and closed up the ends of it it's looking pretty good unfortunately these uh, cars are made out of such thin metal when you go to weld them together they have a tendency to blow through so that'll be all right that's on the structural piece and we'll put some seam sealer over the top to uh, make sure it doesn't get moisture in there well, another week of work done. Joe's been smashing out the uh, the welding yoga in the back of the car there, getting into all the tight spots. So props to him for doing that. Isn't a necessarily easy place to weld. The uh, the plates are all in now, thanks to CMP for those. They've worked really well. We've uh, welded them all in and then covered it over. So it's uh, not looking too bad. Next weekend, we'll probably have to work on even more reinforcements off those plates. And we'll see how far we get. May even work on the, uh, the front stays on the subframe there. I wasn't completely useless, I did do a few things. I helped the boys out when they needed it, did some grinding, and also took off the uh, brackets and bits and pieces in the engine bay that we didn't need. So I'll see you guys next week. So it's a new weekend. Dad's been busy during the week working on the car still. He's got uh, a couple of new bits and pieces to go in the back of the car here to reinforce it. So uh, they're looking pretty good. I'll jump down in the car and show you what he's been busy doing. So here's what he's been working on. Basically, we've got these tubes here. They're going to come off the plates that we welded in last week and they're going to go into this box section bar that goes between that chassis rail and that chassis what sh <laughs> and that chassis rail pretty much stack it. I will get in. It's getting stacked Joe. It's happening. <laughs> I'll make dad fix it. I've made him fix it every other time. <laughs> Cutting the rig sheet metal out and just putting fiberglass there. Yeah. Problem with fiberglass is this car's only like just gonna fit on the trailer as it is. My, it, it'll be the progression. Smash the car, buy bigger over fenders, buy bigger wheels, realize it doesn't fit on the trailer, buy a bigger trailer. And then because you crashed once, you're like 20 grand in the hole. So I think it's fair to say these things aren't going anywhere now. 
that's all welded in there and looking pretty good we do need to think about the front subframe mount points though so that's probably going to be the thing we're doing next just going to cut, chuck the car up on the hoist first and uh, make sure we properly locate those and drill in the right spot so we're up under the car now basically what we need to do for this part is need to go up through this hole here which is where the stud goes through for the subframe and put something through there like a punch that's going to hit it hard enough that we can see from the top side where that comes through. Nice. So the other two have been pretty busy. They've got the two holes in the back seat all drilled and uh, cut out. Pretty much these two holes is where the rear subframe connects to the, uh, the car here. This is the two front mounts for that rear subframe. What we're going to do is got a bit of tube that's going to come up and we're going to weld that into that hole there and then we're going to connect a bar from one side of the car from the chassis rail to the other. That'd be, that'd be fine, yeah. That'd be heaps of room for you, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, the support's all welded into the car now. The uh, guys got probably a bit sick of me trying to climb over them with the camera, so I sort of gave up on doing that. Thought I might do more of a bit of a recap of what they've done rather than getting in the way all the time. So that's all welded in. The back is obviously already done, but the front's all welded in. There's a, a fair bit of, to get all this done, particularly with the front. You've got to find the right point in the back seat or where the back seat would sit to uh, actually drill down to find the, uh, the points at the subframe uh, sort of connect with the car. So. They did that, they did a good job, didn't cut up any extra part of the, uh, the back seat area that they didn't need to. So I'll uh, jump down in the car, show you guys what they've done, and then give you a bit of a recap of um, yeah, what we've done, the weight and that sort of thing. Righto, so I'm inside the car now. There's a roll cage in between me and the part that I'm shooting, so we'll see how clear we can get this for you guys. Pretty much what we needed to do was, there's underneath this floor here, there's actually another bit of metal that is what bolts to the uh, subframe to the car or the, uh, the metal connecting part. So what we had to do was cut out those holes that you saw earlier, and then we can get through to the part of the car that actually connects to the subframe. Then what we did was we got this tube here, cut out a bit of an access hole there, put it through the holes that we drilled into the car, and then um, welded it in. And how we welded it in was basically we got the MIG welder, put it through that gap there, and welded one to the other through the hole. So uh, that's how we did that. There's not too many other ways you can actually do it without cutting the entire back seat out. But uh, yeah, that's worked pretty well. Obviously that then connects to this big old bar that goes through the middle of the car. That's all looking pretty good. Lots of strength there. Obviously there's a bit of weight, so I'll talk about that in a moment. But uh, yeah, I don't think this uh, part of the subframe is going anywhere now. So I'm back out of the car now. It's a bit tight in there to be talking too much to the camera. But uh, got the roll cage and all sorts of stuff in the way. So just going to talk to you quickly about the weight too. Obviously we've added a decent amount of weight to the back of this car to reinforce the, uh, the arse end. Pretty much, I don't really see a way around that. I'm going to be putting a lot of torque through the car and also going to be abusing it quite a bit. I don't want the car ripping itself to pieces. So I've decided to go all out, which is obviously going to add weight. So I guess everyone gets to make their own decision about that. Depends what you're going to be doing with the car, but being a drift car, I don't think weight is, obviously it's important, but it's not going to be as important as say a time attack car or something along those lines. And these cars see a lot of abuse, probably a lot more than a time attack car would. So I sort of went all out and wanted to make sure that I never had any problems with it in the future. And I think we pretty much achieved that. I can't see any of that stuff moving anywhere. So everyone can sort of make their own decision on that one. That's the way that I went. On the other side of things, I uh, probably want to talk to you a little bit more about the forces involved in the rear subframe. So with the way that the wheels work with the torque, the actual front mounting points of the subframe want to compress into the car and the rear actually wants to pull away and go towards the ground. So what that means is on the front, we can probably have not quite as much weld which, as you probably saw with the, the way that we welded the pipe into the car at the front mounts because that's actually going to be compressing the pipe anyway if the uh, subframe is trying to move. However, on the rear mounts, that's going to be pulling away from the car, so we need lots of strong weld just to make sure that when it goes to pull away, it's held nice and tight. So 
just keep that in mind if you were to do this. You, uh, you need to sort of think about that because the torque is going to play into uh, how you should uh, set the rear of it up. Well, that's it for this episode. I'm kind of glad to be uh, past reinforcing the rear of the car. It's not terribly um, sexy, I guess you could say. It's not quite like uh, modifying fenders or doing something to the outside of the car. It's uh, all pretty laborious, painstaking work. Fabrication's kind of fun, but you get over it after a little while, particularly when I'm not actually doing it myself. So I'm glad that's done. I'm happy to move on to other things. I'm not, it's nice to know that the rear end of the car is never ever gonna move. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys well, for another episode, I don't know, another two months. This, this episode's taken about three or four months to film. So uh, yeah, see you in the future. Is that because you're giving everyone BJ's? Is that because you're giving everyone BJ's? What? A Chevy badge? <laughs> just put it over the top of the, like, the kidneys. Just, like, don't tape it over the BMW badge. <laughs> you got your step ladder there? Does that make up for your tiny legs? Do they, do you get them like, four-wheel drive places? Do they have step ladder? I'm actually going to have to get one. <laughs>